Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. This morning, we're gonna be doing a portable fish finder review. Since, ever since I got the little inflatable boat, Bobber, I keep finding myself not knowing two different things. Number one, where's the fish? And number two, how deep is the water? Because when it's really hot, you wanna go deep, and when it's not hot, you wanna have a little more shallow. So you know me, I'm always surfing on Amazon. If I'm not doing anything else, I'm probably surfing Amazon. <laughs> I got a problem. I found something that I got really excited about, which was the portable fish finder. And so today we're gonna to be doing a review on the portable fish finder. A portable fish finder review. Now this only cost about $35. I thought that was very reasonable. And it has a depth readout down to 100 meters, a fish alarm, selectable sensitivity, fish depth scale, fish size distinguished. And if it can do all this, Hopefully it'll get the fish in the boat too. I opened the package. I've already opened the package because I needed to read the instructions. And it does come with a, a, a reasonably understandable instruction manual. You can't beat that with a stick. So what we have in the portable fish, in this portable fish finder review, what we have in this, in this is a mount for the boat. Well, it came with batteries, the fish finder module, the little thing that goes in the water, the transducer, I think it's called, and a whole lot of cable. And a lanyard. I've had some concern about how to hold on to this. I had had some concerns about how to hang on to this thing. And they give you this included in your purchase. You can actually just hang it around your neck. I guess. Yeah. That way you don't have to go far to find it. You just, there you go. Now, I'm gonna put it all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assemble the whole assembly, assemble the assembly. And then we're gonna go down to the boat. We're gonna go get some bait first. We, we have to have, we have to have bait if we're gonna go fishing. Pretty much all we have to do, let's get this little floater. This also works if you do ice fishing. According to what I was reading in the instructions, you can just put that on the ice. Uh, you can also uh, broadcast that through the hull of your boat. Now, I'm not sure how well that would work. Uh, it won't work with, on my boat at all, but maybe on a kayak, but you put Vaseline on there and you stick it down. If you're gonna mount it on the, the hull of the boat, you have the mount goes like that. So I'm kind of thinking, because I don't have the full inflatable boat with me. I don't have the whole assembly because I don't have my pickup, but I'm thinking I'm gonna mount that on a, on a piece of wood that attaches to my transom with some a clampage or something. But for today, I'm just gonna float it in the water, like that. Let me go get some bait, and then we'll go, we'll go fishing. And we'll continue our portable fish finder review video. I am an Amazon affiliate in, in this portable fish finder review. If you click the link in the description below, we do earn a little revenue that helps support the channel. Doesn't change your cost in any way, shape, or form, but it helps us out. So we really appreciate that. More to come. We're doing a portable fish finder review. I've got it on. Got it hanging around my neck, that is. I've got the transducer floating in the water. So I figured out we've got, we're in seven, 6.8 feet of water. We really want to be deeper than 10 feet today. So we'll go find some deep water.
got a beep in it. Fish! 22 feet of water. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Almost. Well, as you can see, I'm at the boat ramp at courtesy slash fishing dock. You got the little fish finder. Water's 14, 14 feet deep. And there's a lot of fish under this thing. <laughs> so 14 feet of water is about where I was catching the crappie out there. So now you know, there's fish under this here dock. So now I'm in the, the fishing dock, the covered fishing dock. I thought I'd do the, I'd do the same thing here as I did over by the boat. Right, well, so let's turn on. I'm in the water. You can see it's floating. Twelve feet of water. There's some structure. I guess there's probably a brush pile. So it's about 13 feet deep. There's a boat dock side. We'll go check it out. Not as much activity over here. So now we know it's 13 feet deep. There's a brush pile. And according to the little fish alert, there's fish in them there waters. Well, that portable fish finder test was a win-win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So this little fish finder, I got a heck of a value. Tells you, what's below the water when you can't see below the water so it works out great for my little my little boat now you know it's not going to show you contour it's going to give you an alert hey there's there's structure below the water the water's this deep there's structure there's fish moving around it's not going to mean it doesn't mean that it's going to put fish in your in your boat or put fish on your line it's just telling you what's there for a very economical price. So I would say if you're if you're looking if you if you're fishing at all, even if you're bank fishing, I never would have guessed what that showed me is that in this body of water, it doesn't get it's five feet deep, this whole area until you get about 60 feet out from this point does it drop and then it goes from five feet to 20 feet it's just straight down and that's where the fish were down at 18 to 20 feet some places where their structure they were up at you know the 12 foot range but 
most of the beeps were in deep water. There were none in the five and six foot deep water right here. Now you know. All right. If you found this portable fish finder review to be helpful, I'd, I'd really appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and blasting me out across your social media. And if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I do what I do. That's why I get to come out here and play around on my little boat and catch a few fish. For my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?